to the last of my mini-series about the colour of wine. So we're going to finish with red wine, which is actually the simplest, really. The colour of a red wine, initially, comes purely from the type of grapes or grape from which it was made. So if you take a Burgundy, for example, which is Pinot Noir, it's very pale. And then if you have a sort of Australian Shiraz or a Syrah or a Cabernet Sauvignon or Malbec, the wines like this one, they're much deeper in colour. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's have a little sip. Mm. Very nice Spanish wine. So the next thing that's interesting about red wines is that contrary to white wines, is that red wines lose their colour as they get older. So when you get a really young red wine that's sort of straight out of the vat or out of the barrel, it tends to be almost purpley in colour. And then they go to a nice deep red or they can be quite inky. And then if they get really old, such as, for example, a, a good Bordeaux, they become almost sort of brick orange colour, don't they? And, and they're almost watery around the edge. So that's the key thing. When you're looking at a red wine, when you see less colour, you're normally talking about an older wine. And when you see more deeper violet colours, you're talking about something pretty young. Enjoy and I'll see you soon.